the Dual Realis Samushi Cicada Bug. This is going to make those bass go crazy. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here with your next Tackle Talk Tuesday. And in this Tuesday, what I want to talk about is the Dual Realis Shimashu, Shimashu Cicada Bug. And what I want to talk about here is this really cool bug by Dual Realis. And what makes this such a fun and exciting lure right here is one, of course, is top water, which I love, of course, is top water. It's about 1.5 inches and about one fifth ounce and this right here, I've been fishing with this, and I have been tearing it up with big bass and small bass. I've been lobbing it in the lily pads. I've been lobbing it all over the place and getting strikes and getting hits. So I'm really excited about this particular lure right here. And I've actually got at the end here, I want you to go over and check out my channel. Wherever you're watching this, Check out my channel because on the channel you will see me fishing with this lure. And I had a pretty, really good session there of some really good topwater beasts that hit this. And I want to share that with you as well so, so that you can see this in action right here. So be sure to check out the channel. If you're watching the channel on the channel, then there should be, if you go below, you can check out the other videos. And you'll see me on this one right here where I'm actually talking, actually fishing it and working it. And... One of the things that makes me excited about this particular cicada is because whether it's a big fish, little fish, big bass, bluegill, crappie, you smallmouth, you name it, they all hit bugs, things that land on top. See, bass, which I primarily fish for, are opportunist. And they, of course, bite when they're hungry, they bite when they're agitated, but they also bite when they see an opportunity to bite and it's right in their face. And this is something that you can lob literally right into their face. You can throw it over a bed. You can actually work it across a lake. And what I do is I'll generally throw it out in the middle of a lake and let it sit there for a while. And then I'll slowly start to twitch it and pulsate it. As you can see, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's actually a bead in there. So that allows for some shaking. This particular lure goes side to side, just like a pompadour or pompadour junior. It goes side to side here. But a lot of the times what I'm doing is I'm bringing it back slowly and then I'll rush it up real fast like a struggling bug or bait fish. Then I'll stop it and then I'll keep bringing it back and forth again. What I found as a fisherman, and I've been fishing for a number of years, but I've really gotten into top water. And I've seen that the top water lures to me are just some of the best lures out there. Now there's all types of fishing that you can do, of course. But Top water is the most exciting to me, and that's really what my focus is on all the time, is on how to get better at throwing top water. And I have quite a few lures that are top water, and so my goal is to figure out which top lure, water lure, works in which situation the most effectively. I've even got an old Rapala floating minnow. In other words, it's like a jerk bait, but then it floats to the top and allows for hits. So I'm really into that as well because that to me is like a top water. But what we got right here today that I want you to keep in mind and, and really think about getting one is the cicada here. Go ahead and get you one of these right here because what you're going to get is a lot of excitement out of it. Now, the question also is durability. I've caught a bass up to four pounds on this lure and it's still holding itself together. I've caught smaller bass. I've actually hooked into bluegill before. So this lure has the capability to really do it. And I'm actually, what I've been using on this particular lure is a spinning rod. So I've got a spinning rod that I throw this on because it is really, really light. And so I'm using probably about what I call, I'm using, my, I'm, I'm using mono line. And the mono line is probably 10, 10 pound mono line so that I can cast it on a spinning rod pretty far. And I'm really just retrieving it back slowly, popping it, trying to get it as close to the lily pads as I can without snagging it. So that's really what my focus is with this particular lure right here. And I'm excited about it. Now the price, it is a little over 10 bucks and you can get this generally in the usual places from direct tackle to tackle warehouse. You can buy it in these different places. 
This particular lure, though, like I said before, I ex am excited about it because what it did was it, it, it just a lot of fun when you're throwing these type of lures because they're so sensitive to everything around them that you feel everything. Plus, you can see it out there on the water. Uh, another thing about this type of tackle right here is that this tackle can become very versatile. Now, as you can see here on the bottom, they are definitely have the hooks on the bottom right here, the three prong hooks. But one unique thing that you could do with this, and this is something where you can start stretching yourself here. As you can see, it's got three prong hooks. What I could do is, let me get my hands right here. What I could do here is remove these three prong hooks here, maybe just put one in the back and then actually have a guard on it, a weed guard on that, and then throw it directly into the lily pads, and then just drag it across the lily pads. Or I could turn around and just cover this up totally right here and try to turn it actually because of how it's designed right here where the hook is up. Maybe I could actually add put a frog hook on there. So there's a lot of little clever things you can do with bugs like this right here to make them work in difficult and different situations. And I'm going to be trying some of those things out here. It's just more of an experiment on how to get the right lure into the right place, especially when you're talking top water. So once again, this is my little cicada bug that I'm truly excited about. I'm going to keep fishing with it, and I'm just going to keep fishing with it. Now, I've had there's been reviews that sometimes they're not the most stable of lure, but at this point, I found it to be a very durable lure that works in very difficult situations, but also it can hold on to big fish. So go ahead, what I want you to do, go ahead, be sure to watch my, my cicada bass fishing video because you'll see this one in action. You'll see me catching fish with it. You'll see me having talking about it a little bit as well. So once again, this really completes our Tackle Talk, let me get this right. This really completes our Tackle Talk Tuesday. Once again, I want you to remember this when it comes to top water. Keep your line tight because when they hit that top water, especially a bug like this, it's going to be a big bite. I'll see you next Tuesday.